Cicada 3301 is a moniker for an enigmatic internet phenomenon structured around three complex puzzles posted online under the alias 3301 from 2012 to 2014. The curtain raised on the first mysterious puzzle on January 2, 2012, on Forshawn, capturing the internet's inquisitive minds for close to a month. Exactly a year later, on January 4, 2013, another round of mindbenders was published followed by a third puzzle that kicked, off on the back of a fresh clue hinted at on Twitter. On the exact same date in 2014, however, up until today, the third puzzle remains unsolved. The main goal of Cicada 3301 was to identify and recruit intellectually superior individuals through a series of challenges. However, a conspicuous silence was maintained on January 4, 2015, with no new challenges published. The next spark came alive on Twitter on January 5, 2016, with a new clue the last reputable message backed by Open Peep signature from Cicada 3301 came out in April 2017, highlighting the inauthenticity of any unsigned puzzle. The Cicada 3301 challenges primarily revolved around data security, cryptography, steganography, and internet anonymity and it was commonly referred to as the most intricate and mystifying challenge of the internet era. The Washington Post even listed it as one of the top five most bizarre unsolved internet mysteries and several theories sprouted over time regarding its intentions. From being a relief test for intelligence agencies like NSA, CIA, MIS-6 to a tool for a cyber mercenary group, or even a Masonic, conspiracy some contest the authenticity of Cicada 3301 labeling it as an alternate reality game. With no apparent money-making objective, some stalwarts of the challenge believe Cicada 3301 to be a leftover clothing from the cypherpunk movement of the late 80s and early 90s. The ultimate purpose behind the challenging puzzles is still shrouded in mystery. However, the speculations range from the organization being a secret society aiming to enhance cryptography, privacy, and anonymity, or a cult or a religious sect. After winning the 2012 challenge, a partaker revealed that 3,301 typically resort to non-puzzle-based recruiting methods, but had created the Cicada challenges to attract potentials with cryptographic and computer security skill. Marcus Warner emerged as the ace of the inaugural 2013 puzzle. Following the victory, he and other winners were inquired about their views on information freedom, online privacy, freedom, censorship, and those providing convincing responses were invited to a secret online forum. Here, they were given the task of a project aiming to bolster the group's ideals, with Marcus unfortunately failing to finish his decryption technique and the website was later taken down. Drawing on a wide mix of modern and traditional communication media forms, including the internet, telephony, unique music pieces, Linux bootable CDs, cryptic images, physical paper signs, and pages from undisclosed books with cryptic runes, Sikaga 3301 went all out to weave its challenging puzzle. These also included references to a wide array of books, poetry, artwork, and music to enhance the enigma. Each clue was authenticated using the same open peep private key. Two unique pieces of music and an encrypted book titled Liber Primus were also part of the Cicada 3301's puzzle legacy, but the composers, performers, and few decrypted pages from the book are yet to be identified. As the enigmatic collective Cicada 3301 rose to prominence, numerous speculations arose that the collective's complex puzzles were not just cryptic challenges, but potentially cryptic invitations into the world of occultism, or even entiation processes for cult indoctrination. Tim Daly, a former senior research fellow at the Family Research Council and a conspiracy theorist scrutinized the Cicada 3301 puzzles and suggested that this seemingly harmless game might be a gateway to occult practices akin to those of Blavatsky and Crowley the Allure, he said. Lay in the fabricated offering of profound comprehension through auto-divination. In the birthing stages of the conspiracy group Quanon, Rumors arose that Cicada 3301 could potentially be the mastermind behind the anonymous figure Q, who instigated the founding of this conspiracy theory. These rumors claimed the whole Kanan phenomenon was a meticulously planned live roleplay game designed by Cicada 3301. 
Lisa Clapier, an early advocate and media producer for Canaan, implored Cicada 3,301 terrains to join in decoding Q's posts and follow the white rabbits to Quan's posts, however. Cicada 3,301 never officially asserted any involvement with Quan. The U.S. Navy released a coded challenge. Project Architeuthis, based on the recruitment puzzles of Cicada 3,301 in 2014. Even the storyline Nautilus, a 2014 episode from the TV series Person of Interest, is modeled similar to the puzzles presented by Cicada 3301. Though with the logo of a Nautilus shell rather than a cicada, the creators of the series, Jonathan Nolan and Greg Plajman, confirmed in an interview that the concept of Cicada 3301 had, indeed, inspired the episode. The enigma surrounding Cicada 3301 has even found its way onto the silver screen with the 2021 dark comedy thriller film titled Dark Web, Cicada 3000 3301, which explores the character of a hacker navigating Cicada's recruitment game whilst dodging the NSA, even the popular video game assassin. Origins references Cicada 3301 when a character lists it amongst the unsolved mysteries of history.